Yeah, we received the, what's called the Assistance for Firefighters Grant from FEMA to re for uh, almost $230,000 of federal funds to help replace our self-contained breathing apparatus. And in layman's terms, what is a self-contained breathing apparatus? We call them SCBAs. It's the pack that we wear that carries compressed air that allows firefighters to go into uh, burning buildings or area where the atmosphere is dangerous to life. And this probably has an obvious answer, but why are those so important and why is it important to have them working at their highest potential? Uh, it's very, very important for firefighter safety. Getting our SCBAs replaced was our number one priority for firefighter safety. But it also is what the equipment, along with the turnout gear that our firefighters wear, that allow firefighters to make entry into a burning house and come after anyone that may be trapped or to extinguish the fire to save property. Uh, we have to get our packs test every year. Uh, that's important to make sure that our equipment is working and we check them every week as well. Uh, the issue we have, we've got air packs that are about 24 years old. We have a mixture of some are a little bit newer, and most of ours are older. Uh, there's several that are older uh, that we're having hard times finding uh, replacement parts for them when parts do fail. And the older the, part, the air packs do get, the more failure rate you do have for them. Uh, so different parts are almost impossible to find. And, uh, and so they are important to replace and to make sure you have the newest equipment that's more reliable and that also has replacement parts. How much does an entire, like the mask and everything, how much does one cost? So we usually have what's called a set. So you'll get a face piece, uh, the pack, and two bottles. So one bottle that's there and a spare bottle. And they're about a little over $9,000 for a set. $9,000. And yep. how many does it take to run this fire station or this department? So what we have is uh, FEMA funds what they call seated positions on fire apparatus. And based on our apparatus, we have 25 seated positions. So that funding is going to allow us to purchase 25 uh, new SCBAs. And how many do you have right now? Uh, we have just about that number. I don't have that many that are actually in service right now. We have several that have, uh, that have issues that are awaiting repairs and some are unrepairable. Uh, the other issue we have is that the, the bottles that actually uh, contain compressed air that we use to breathe with, they have a 15 year life. Uh, they're composite material and they also get hydrostatically tested once a year. Many of our bottles are either at the 15 year mark or actually past the 15 year mark. So this grant was timely both in replacement of the bottles themselves along with uh, the air packs themselves. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the process of applying for the grant. You guys have kind of a special story uh, that has to do with a resident of Payne Springs who was willing to help out. So tell me a little bit yeah. about the backstory and also just uh, your shock at actually receiving this yeah. grant. Yeah, back in the, the winter, we had a, an inter interesting power issue that happened in one of our neighborhoods. And as a result of that, uh, we had a resident could smell something burning in their structure. So we responded to check it out. Uh, we ended up thinking it was HVAC related because of some of the power surges that were happening. But we were going through the house and in a matter of having conversations with the resident, uh, we determined that she was a grant writer. And we started having a conversation, build a relationship, and uh, she had offered to help us with grants going forward, being that we are her fire department. And she helped on the, us on this grant. And this was actually the first time in, uh, if ever, if at least over 10 years that we've applied for assistance for firefighting grant. And to get it at our, on our first try is amazing. And we were very happy and very, very happy and shocked that we got it on our first attempt. Tell me the backstory of how you even learned that you got the grant and what your reaction was. Yeah. We actually had a, uh, a company that provides gear reach out to one of our members and uh, said, hey, you know, congratulations on your grant. Because in all honesty, we hadn't been looking that hard, so we didn't think we were going to get it on our first try. And uh, so we quickly were sending text messages back and forth and going on FEMA's page to, to make sure that it was correct. And needless to say, we were all shocked and very happy and uh, you know, just amazed and very grateful to receive this federal, federal funding. All right, so you, you said you applied sometime kind of back in March. When did you find out you got the grant? Uh, we applied, yeah, it was sometime in the March time frame. I don't remember exactly when the due date was for the grant. Uh, we found out uh, two weeks ago that we got it on a Friday when uh, FEMA releases award, winnies, award winners, uh, you know, like on a weekly basis. And uh, once that came out, I hadn't checked my email yet that day. And I went back and saw that I had an email that says, congratulations on your grant award. 
And uh, yeah, just needs to say we're ecstatic about it. And so what what does the timeline look like now in terms of ordering that new equipment and getting it in? Yeah, we just ordered uh, the equipment. I think it's about a 60 day turnaround before we can get the, uh, the packs and bottles and masks. So hopefully here in close to uh, 60 days or so, we'll have our new packs in service. Uh, we'll have to do a lot of training on them. They are different. Uh, and this allows us all of our air packs that will be on our apparatus will be exactly the same. So right now we kind of have a few different versions. Uh, so this will help us in training, help us in safety. And we just can't wait to get them and get them going. And what's going to happen to the old packs? Uh, we'll probably keep a few for some training purposes. We're not sure yet. We may donate some to an apartment in need. Uh, Again, it's a challenge for them to find parts for them, but uh, we haven't determined quite yet what we're going to do with all the old ones. And how long are we expecting the new ones to last? At least 10 years. I'm sure we'll get longer out of them, uh, hopefully, as long as parts are available. Like I said, we maintain them yearly uh, and take good care of them because they are expensive and they are very, very important to firefighter safety. Any other FEMA grants that we're looking at to get other equipment, or was this kind of top of the list? This was top of our list right now for firefighter safety. Uh, there's some other grants out there uh, that we are going to look at as well. Some that there are actually help you with uh, recruiting and retention of volunteers, which is a very important thing today. Uh, so we're looking at those uh, in the future as well. It's very hard to find uh, active volunteer firemen today. It's a challenge nationwide. So if anybody's out there is interested, Go, go talk to your local volunteer fire department. They will need the help. How do you think this attention from the federal government um, and also just the intake of all this new stuff might help with rec recruitment and retention? I think it will. You know, we've been blessed to be able to afford some new apparatus. Uh, this engine right here is brand new. Uh, it's top of the line uh, with features and capabilities. We've got new equipment on it as well. I think people that are interested in, in helping their community want to go somewhere where they've got you know, good safe gear, good safe equipment, and I think we bring that to the table. So I hope that kind of, uh, when people walk in the door and see that we've got new, well-maintained equipment and gear, that they show interest that, yeah, it's a serious volunteer fire department. They're going to be able to help me and train me to be a firefighter, and that's what we're looking for. Absolutely. Uh, I forgot to ask about the match that you mentioned because mm -hmm. that does come along with this grant. Do you know how much that match is? Yeah, we will have to match just a little over $11,000 uh, for this grant, which is not a problem. We have that money available to do that. To try to bring the afford a full $240,000, we would have never been able to do that at one time, and we would have to do it over a series of years, and then we would have a more of a mismatch of SCBAs on trucks. So, yeah, we're, we're absolutely blessed and excited to get this grant. Have you spoken to the woman who helped you write the grant since receiving it? She was actually the first uh, text message I sent. Actually, I called her right away, and, and I just said, guess what? And she said, you got the grant, didn't you? I was like, yes, we did. And I explained to her how thankful we were for her assistance. And, of course, the next thing she said, any other grant, just let me know.